How amazing that the spirit of the suffrage movement and the shock of the First World War came this great idea that a nonpartisan civic organization could provide the tools that the public needed to advance our democracy. wise league leader once said that the success of democracy doesn't depend on the few persons who do great things, but on many persons who do small things faithfully. I'm Jacqueline Achan from the state of Oklahoma. My name is Alexandra Dixon. I'm Jeanette Roveri. So my name is Sharon. I'm Andrea Kaminsky. I'm Barbara Zia. My name is Ernestine Moss. I'm Diane Habino, president of the League of Women Voters of Nebraska. I'm George Brown. I'm Dara Thompson. I am Stacy Deppner Hovey. My name is Faye Williams, and I'm a member of the Indianapolis League of Women Voters. I started volunteering because my mother volunteered, and her mother volunteered, and her mother volunteered. We go to the naturalization ceremonies and register new citizens, and it is one of the most exciting things to help someone register to vote and see them so excited. These are new citizens who just can't wait. I started off as just being a league member and eventually, in three months, I was the president of the local league. And mainly, what I do is try to get the word out. Your voice is your vote. Your vote is your voice. I found um, letters in our, in our historical files from uh, members of both parties, in this case, criticizing the league for its position. But what's interesting is the league's position did not change. We um, are listened to, the county council, listens to our testimony, planning department, and we're pretty well known for our voters' guides that we do every uh, election. The League, over the years, has been a trusted organization. Even when I grew up, we um, didn't think there was a debate on television unless the League did it. We try to help educate people on the fact that you can be political, and we're definitely political all the time, but we're nonpartisan. The message that we try to bring home is that Democracy only works if you participate. I practice law, and part of the ways in which I learn to really interpret and understand legislation and public policy was through the League of Women Voters. And I chose to enter at the League of Women Voters because in high school I had actually worked with the League at the local level. It's been a great opportunity just to see how a workplace works and then also to specifically see how a nonprofit works. I, I've been executive director of, of several nonprofits and people said, How do you know this stuff? And it was public relations, it was fundraising, it was board development. It, you know, all the things I had had to do as a League person just you know, immediately translated into doing a, a, a pretty difficult job. It has allowed me to just have a network across the state that uh, wouldn't be as easy just in a particular job. Young professionals today also bring in a whole new generation of understanding. They look at the world just like every generation in a different way. We're working for the future, working with government issues, that affect our children, our grandchildren, and I have great-grandchildren now, so I'm hoping that the issues that we bring forward and work on will help them have a better life. The League will be known as the place to find information about candidates and issues. I want to continue to work so that League is known as the place to find great information. We are going to help this country of ours with civil discourse. We are going to educate more than we already do. We are going to um, be the force that 
brings people together to talk in a civilized way about issues, that's what we're going to do.